Really? Seriously? For fuck's sake. I... Calm down. Keep it on the DL. Let's run some data here. Play it cool and distract them with a story. Another day, another senseless crime, and another bloodstained scumbag demanding my mercenary services. I don't discriminate against my clients. I despise them all. And I always accept their money graciously. The job is easy this time. A rave party in Central Park accidentally got mowed down by machine gunfire. It's the Mafia again. Little boys with big guns who don't know where to point them. I manage a dry laugh. Nobody will ever know, of course. That's what I'm paid the big bucks for. The rave must turn into a myth.
Dance, you beautiful souls. Soon, nobody will even know you existed. Not even I will be sure you did. She's a master gamer, a cyber ronin, a former rave queen, and a legendary crime scene cleaner. The world won't know her name, just as it won't know the names of the people she made disappear. But that's okay, because the will of the universe is watching. And everything is all right with the world. You're really into that crap shit, huh? I don't know. Am I? <laughs> Come on. You spent the whole evening talking about being disillusioned with the facade of reality. Alluding to heinous crimes we'll never know about. Bragging you know because of your famous fixer friends. FYI, I got a little tipsy, and I'm a bit of a provocator, and I was actually testing you all, and, uh... I guess broken girls love conspiracies and serial killers. Daddy never kissed me, I got into Ted Bundy. Oh, how delightfully quaint. You didn't mention you have a PhD in pop psychology. When our souls and brains are molded by pop culture, pop psychology becomes the real psychology. What a shame, your psychology seems to be that of a hella annoying video game NPC. Talk to the hand. Anyway, my brain chemistry enhancements are kicking in. Let's move. Let's, mm, dance. Yeah. About time. Let me grab some water and I'll see you on the dance floor. Gah, I'm so shit-faced. Oh, that's you. <laughs> I've been... I've been meaning to ask, uh, how old are you? But, excuse me. Ugh, are they starting to guess my real age? Were my fears right and there's really no life after 30? I was just wondering, cause I never know with Japanese features. You could be 18, you could be 50. Uh-huh. It's just, yeah, I'm Korean, FYI. Oh, uh... Um, I mean, it's the whole Shibuya, Harajuku, cyberpunk thingy you've got going on. Tech guys go crazy for the shizzle. Much easier to outsmart them when they think they know what you are. Uh-huh. Also, it makes people knowing who I really am seem more special. As long as they're not old, angry vets. Uh, sorry for not being special. Um... <laughs> Sorry for sounding passive-aggressive. I... I'll... Uh, shut up. Um, that was disturbingly cute. Huh? Crowd here has really gone to shit. Assholes, noobs, and wannabes. I miss my old crew. Perplexed, Cry Morvich, Ponzu, Shadow Atheist, Jerry, Ubernal, Mr. Weapon. Those were the names. Now they're gone. Grown up, dead, or in prison for unrelated infractions I wish I never knew about. What if the gang ends up the same way? What if the web goes to shit in a few years? What will I do? No. I refuse on principle to believe the interwebs could ever go astray. And yet... Has the will of the universe cast its eye on me? Does it want to tell me that this dance can't last forever? Whatever. Don't think. Just... Breathe. Listen. Feel. Aaron. We have to talk about Harry Newcomb and the serpent of absolute death. Sweet. 
Let's do it.